sharp and down to the hawk line, 112 on the clock. Keith with the head man pass to Hulsa, predator line, deflects it in behind the net, then rams Hamus down and head first into the boards behind the predator net. And the predator players all want to get a piece of Marion Hulsa now. Major penalty, Hosa. You're in big trouble. 103 left in the third. Predators leading four to three, and this could put the Hawks in a very bad position right now. He's not a, a, a dirty player. He was just trying to make sure that the defenseman couldn't clear the puck. And as it turns out, it was a it was a tough hit. You know, so then you take a five-minute penalty. So you're thinking, wow, this is it. I mean, we're never going to score a goal down a man late in a playoff game like that. And it was obviously a critical game five when the series is tied. And it careened high to be taken to the outside by Sharp. Net empty, extra attacker, shot by Dave Rio. Score! And he ties the score at four! I was just out the night. I was just laying there and was able to get my stick on it. I think with 13 seconds left. I still think to this day that's my only shorthanded goal in the NHL. It's kind of an unwritten rule. When you have a lead, you're on the power play. You know, you don't have to score a goal. You don't have to force play. They can play some four corners if they want to. And a play went towards the front of the net. And once they did that, the structure broke down. The Blackhawks jumped on the opportunity. And so I can't believe Martin Urat passed this puck blindly in the offensive zone into the slot with nobody there. This is a major turning point in this series. I don't think the Nashville Predators had scored a power play goal in that series. And I don't know if they're trying to fatten their stats or what. Why would you try to score? Keep the puck, play, keep away, let the clock run. For some reason, they tried to score. In the, in the jubilation, you look up at the board and there's you know, three and a half minutes of a penalty you still got to kill. And so you had to kill that penalty off. No four against four for five minutes, no shootout now. You play as long as you need to to decide the winner. You can only imagine what was going on in Marion Sosa's mind. That was killing him. I just signed a long-term deal, uh, joined the Blackhawks that year, and it was my first playoffs for the Blackhawks, and uh, I said, like, wow, that's like, this is not good. I was hitting in the penalty box, uh, sweating bullets. <laughs> Sokol now drops it to Chalmerson on the left half boards. Hawks come to full strength. Hosa's out of the box. Chalmerson put it in behind the net for Bowen. Now Sokol right point. Hammers a shot. Here's Hosa the real start! Hawks win! Hawks win! Marion Hosa's first Blackhawks playoff goal! It's a game winner in overtime! Hawks beat the Predators 5 to 4! Finished the game. That was a great feeling, and, uh, you know, big goals like that you never forget. Things were meant to be at that point, I think, and, uh, um, you still get chills thinking about it. You couldn't write that script. Anybody who tried to would be, you know, put in the loony bin. It was almost, you know, I don't want to say fate, but the rest is history.